Hello everyone, it's Amy, and I am here to do a video for uh, Becky at Aunt Beck's Creations, and this is for her 500 plus flora and fauna challenge, and her challenge is to do a 4x4 canvas, um, or if you don't have a little canvas, you can do it on like heavy card so that it's kind of like a canvas, and just gesso it, and um, and then she would like the theme to be floral and fauna, flowers and um, animals and that type of thing. And the competition ends on November 1st. And that is definitely the deadline. It has to be to her by November 1st. And then she is going to do her drawing on November 2nd. And then she also wants to know... Um, she wants you to leave her a message on that video, on her challenge video, to let her know that you're going to join in. And also to let her know if you like Halloween or not, because she does have some Halloween things in her prize package. So go over to Becky's channel, and that's Aunt Bex Creations, and I will put the correct spelling down below so that you can go on over and, and check it out. And she's a really nice lady, and she has really great videos. She does a lot of like tag along videos, which is kind of fun, and great crafting videos, great tutorials. So go check her out and um, see what she has there for you. So I did make Becky a 4x4 four four, um, small. I did mine on card with gesso because I didn't have a small canvas. But this is some of the things that I used to make hers. And these are just um, coffee filters. And I dyed them with paint and water. To, to get this look, and then I used these to make this. So I made the canvas, and then out of the coffee filters, I cut grass, and I just did two layers and offset them so it looked like it had a little depth there. And then I made flowers out of the colored ones. I have some blue ones, and I put leaves on the back of each one. So, but I've got the blue and the orange and the little yellow. Put little um, stamens in the middle, kind of. And then I did a couple of little tiny butterflies and put those on there. I have one there, and then I have one there. And then just used um, a little paint for the head and a little red uh, permanent marker for the bodies. So that's what I did for the card on the back um, after I gessoed it. I just put watered down paint. Um, I like these little containers here, and I just put a little paint and water in them, and then I use this um, to make different cards and that type of thing. And so what I did was I just put it on there. First I got the canvas wet after the gesso was completely dry, and then I dripped it on there and I just let it run through, and I put the green and yellow together for the grass and the orange and yellow for the sky and then I did stamp this little stamp here and it says the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams so this is the little canvas that I did for Becky and I hope that you like it Becky and I hope everybody goes over and checks out the challenge and joins in so and then she's going to do something with these put them all together somehow and um, show us when she's done so that's really neat too Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for the challenge, Becky, and I hope that you all have an outstanding day. Bye-bye.